Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up Remcos uh, so you can get a remote connection. Now I should just say that Remcos is a penetration testing um, software and it's also a uh, remote surveillance software. So for for that reason that it might be detected as a Trojan or Pactor or some piece of malware by your antivirus software. So this is my own system, so obviously I've uh, got an exclusion set up, but if you want to do that, and you don't know how, I'll show you. So this is for if you have Windows Defender installed, which probably most people will. So if you type in Windows Security into your start, uh, start menu, then go to click on this box here, then scroll down, click on Manage Settings, go to Add or Remove Exclusions, and then add an exclusion folder, click on here, you click that, and then you click select folder. Uh, and that's all you do. Um, but I've already got the whole uh, directory done so I don't have to do that. Then what you've got to do is just open Remcos. Now the first time you do this, um, you have to accept the terms and conditions, and you'll also um, have to enter your email that you registered um, that's linked to your Remcos account and then you'll be able to log in. So let's take a look at what you need to do first. So first go to local settings then you're on. it should take you to the connection um, menu but if not just click here. Now what you need to do is set a an, an, uh, connection key. So click on this, type in any password you want but make sure you remember it and don't make it too um, simple. Now I'm going to um, enter this password and then what you do is you click OK. It will say connection keys generated. And then all you have to do is um, add the port to listen on. Now um, the reason we had to set this connection key first is because we're using the secure connection. Now the secure connection, TLS 1.3, it encrypts your communication between your controller and the um, Remcos agent. So nobody can launch man in the middle attacks or steal your uh, or hijack your session or anything like that. So it keeps everything safe. So you click add and then it will pop up with um, Windows def uh, Firewall. So make sure you check private and public networks uh, to allow it through. That will be the uh, most um, reliable thing to do. So you've done that, it's listening. Go to Agent Builder. Okay. Now, this is where you put your IP address or DNS in. Now, now if you're doing this, so if you want to control a computer um, that's in another country or essentially outside of your uh, network, you need to you need to enter your public IP address or you can set up a DNS, a dynamic DNS, and that way you won't have to keep changing your IP address. So for example, your DNS could be um, agents.dns.com, whoops.com, and then you can click add and it will just add it there. But I'm going to be using my local, um, my internal IP address for my computer because I'm going to be using this on my own network. And um, so to do that, I what I can do is I can click on ipconfig here and it'll just run the ipconfig command. So I can see that if I go to my um, to my to my adapter, which I believe is is this one. Oh yes, sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Uh, that's my internal IP address. So one one six eight dot zero dot five four, and then the port. Now this is the same port that you're listening on. So 2404, 2404. Now remember, if you're doing this, if you want to control a computer on another network, or you know, across the world, whatever, you'll have to port forward to allow that connection to come through. So make sure secure connection is ticked because we set it up earlier in here. So and then just click, leave these how they are, they're absolutely fine, and then click add connection. Now we don't, uh, I'm not going to set up any persistence, I'm going to keep this um, as 
simple as possible with all the default settings so installation would allow Remcos to restart the process to restart after a, a restart of the of the um, agent of the remote PC uh, stealth mode I'm going to keep this invisible mode but if you're pen testing or uh, doing some surveillance to in uh, set it in invisible mode and then process injection will leave that off keylogger I'm going to uh, leave disabled for now surveillance I'm going to leave this off and then I'm going to build it I'm not going to compress it, I'm going to pack it I'm going to keep it, I'm going to call this uh, I'll leave it the same and I'll use the, the Pro now if you click on this you can see <coughs> the light has small gradient size, only a few um, functions are enabled um, so that's quite useful if you're on a limited uh, metered connection or whatnot or if you just don't need these features and then full Pro is for all the features so I'm going to keep it on Pro I'm going to click build. You can save your profile, although um, I don't need all the saving ones that you want to use, obviously. Uh, click build, and then I'm going to leave this here. And then click save. It will build it. It's been built. And um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'll go and run it on the remote machine. Okay. So we're on the remote machine, let's run the agent, here we go. I'm going to run it, here we are, and you can see the connections popped up down there. And we can see this coming up here, which is the visible mode. So let's go back to this machine, screen capture, and then we can confirm we've got control. Let's turn on mouse movement and try and drag this. For example, there we are. Got mouse movement. Let's uh, open notepad or whatever. Remotely. Just about see it. <laughs> test, test, test. There we are. It's all working fine. You can just about see that there. So that's how you get a remote connection in Remcos. That's all you've got to do. Pretty simple. Thanks.